In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the inner tie rod ends on this Audi A4. These are going to be located behind the front wheels. Let's get into it. In the trunk, lift up where the spare tire is. You can see where the toolbox is right here. Just lift the handle, slide this out. You can open this up. Inside, here's the ring that we're looking for. Now using the tool from the trunk, just put that in the hole in the center cap and you can pull the center cap out. Using a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts off. Before I take the last one, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. Grab the wheel, slide it off. Now using a 21 millimeter wrench or 13 sixteenths, loosen up the jam nut. loose. We're going to take this bolt off, use a 13 millimeter socket. Take that bolt out. Using a 16 millimeter socket, take this nut off. And we're going to hammer that bolt out. I'm just going to put the nut on a couple threads and just give it a tap with a hammer. Tap it out. I'm just gonna use a punch just so I don't damage anything. Just tap this out. All right, I pushed it in a little bit. There we go. Pull that bolt out. I'm just gonna use a punch and just hammer it down. and take the tie rod, the outer tie rod, and we're gonna spin it out. You wanna make sure you count the threads so when you put it back together, you can get it as close as possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, so 25, write that number down. We're gonna take this clamp off, I'm just using some hose clamp pliers. Squeeze that, slide that off. Now on the inside, there is a clamp. I'm just gonna use a 90 degree pick and you can reach in from under the hood and access the clamp. You just have to spread it. There we go, just broke the clamp, that's okay. Now let's grab the boot. I twist it back and forth a little bit. Pop it off. Just gonna use a pick, just spread this a little bit. Just loosen up the end so we can pull it off. right out. Grab the clamp. I'm just going to use some locking pliers and it may help if you turn the steering wheel so that the inner tie rods as far out as possible. So you want to turn to the right for the driver's side or turn to the left for the passenger side. going to hold that shaft from turning inside the steering gear. Take the 
correct adapter for the inner tie rod. And hold the pliers while you loosen it up. inner tie rod in and get that started. Get that lined up. And now we'll torque that to 73 foot pounds. And now we can remove the locking pliers. Take those off. Now take the boot. I'm going to reuse the old, old clamp. You can just bend it back so that it's going to work if yours is still reusable. If not, just use a wire tie. Now take the boot, line that up. You want to turn the steering wheel back so that the inner tie rod goes in a little more so it's easier to install the boot. Now from the inside, I'm going to use some pliers to secure that clamp. Squeeze that down. Now take the clamp, slide that over the boot. That's good. Take the outer tie rod in, get that started, and then you're going to count to the number that you wrote down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 23. 24, 25, and then just take the jam nut, slide that closer. You can see where there's a slot in the tie rod, and the slot needs to line up with that hole for the bolt. So you can take a 10 millimeter hex socket, and just rotate that so that's going to line up. up with the knuckle. I can tap it up. And if it looks like it needs to, you can just twist it. Take the bolt, slide that through the back side. Take the nut, get that started. Snug that down slightly. I'm not going to torque that yet, just slightly snug. Then take the bolt, get that started up top. Snug that bolt down and torque this nut to 33 foot pounds. Torque this top bolt to 43 inch pounds. And we're going to tighten up the jam nut. I'm going to use an 18 millimeter wrench on the back side and a 7 8 or a 22 millimeter wrench on the nut. Snug that down. And if you can torque this, you want to torque that to 30 foot pounds. Now take the wheel, install the wheel, get the hole lined up. Take the lug bolt, get that started. Once you get one in, you can let go of the wheel and get the other one started. And snug those down. Now 
Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 90 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. going to go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. Take the center cap, you can line that circle, the hole with the valve stem, and push it on. Take the little hook, put it back in the tool kit, and close it up. it back where it goes, lift the handle, and put the handle down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.